The mission of the RBI program, uh, bringing baseball to the inner city. Um, their mission is to use baseball and the concept of team to let kids learn and play and grow and hope and dream and it's focused on inner city kids. It's an initiative of Major League Baseball and it just uh, creates that opportunity I think uh, for kids to, uh, to learn and to grow by playing a, by playing a great game. Uh, Syracuse uh, has, a, has a problem. Uh, we have the, one of the highest if not the highest rates of minority poverty uh, in the entire country and it's generally focused in our inner city. Uh, so to give kids uh, an opportunity, an alternative to play sports, and to and to go deeper than that, to have an educational component, possibly some mentoring, and just to show that there is more uh, out there in the world, uh, has got to be a good and positive thing. One out of two of children in Syracuse live in poverty, and those statistics are amongst the worst in the country, and uh, I couldn't ignore that. I came down and uh, talked to Jen Owen about it and uh, she got me going and, uh, and here we are. Jennifer Owens from the Community Foundation sent me an email, uh, said that she had a local philanthropist that wanted to create something similar to the Washington Nationals Baseball Academy in Washington, D.C. So we met and chitter chatted about it a little bit uh, and, uh, and I read the article in the Washington Post uh, and I uh, told Jen, it, you know, maybe something she already knew, you know, that we already had programs similar to that in Syracuse. We didn't need to reinvent the wheel and maybe she should introduce her, her philanthropist to RBI Baseball and the Boys and Girls Clubs. This program is a, a year-round program. It's just an out, not about baseball. There's going to be a mentoring and a component that the Boys and Girls Club is going to be very active in. Uh, they help us, uh, they helped us uh, when we were um, looking for participants in the enrollment process, they help us with transportation, they're going to provide us with space and people to do mentoring and coaching uh, year-round. So they're a very, very important component of the program. Hi, my name is Colin Murphy and I'm uh, 11 years old. My name is Joey Perez and I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is John and I am 11 years old. I've been playing baseball for seven years. And um, if my favorite thing is about it is that um, it really runs in the family and every time we always talk about it. Um, it keeps me calm, it calms me down. It helps me keep my focus. For some kids that haven't played before, they learn how to like hit, catch, and other things that are important to the game. It's a learning experience and it helps all the kids learn how to play baseball. And I like um, that it's a team sport. Whenever I'm like thinking of something like that'll make me like mad or down, I always just think of like one thing, like my first home run or something. RBA baseball is not just about baseball, it's also about education and nutrition and meals and mentoring and, uh, and, and everything that comes along with sport. So uh, I think it's, it's in addition to every other program that's out there, uh, to try to work towards helping our, our citizens in the inner city. I think it's just a, another program that can only help. Walter and I met in 1957, just when I graduated from high school. And uh, he had been playing baseball and football, but mainly baseball, all through school. And I was approached by one person, John Donahue, who wanted me to know that he knew about Walter's dream about uh, developing a fund that would help youngsters in the inner city to uh, play uh, baseball. I think you can find sponsors to buy t-shirts, but when you need cages and safety equipment, which is costly, and I hope that my money for in honor of Walter will help to fund some of that. I'm happy that it's getting this, this reinvigoration uh, of, of new blood and new people and, uh, and new focus.